Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome. Good to see you again. So pleasant to see you again. If you're new, sing chow. We are going to jump into it, but not before we do what we're supposed to do, which is go through all this stuff. And that entails me saying, not your advisor, anything I say, am I going to say anything too crazy today? Eh, not too much. Uh, in terms of specific things, you know, well, at the end, I may go off on a tangent again. That's what I've seen have been happening lately. The, uh, also, um, here about that positivity and that includes looking deep within yourself and getting past your ego, pushing that aside and looking for that place of gratitude and and nurturing it, feeding it, watching it grow into a mighty, mighty oak or tree or plant or rock, or whatever it may be, eroded over time, some beautiful structure of this planet with fractals that says, reach out to someone, the universe is calling, write something down in the comment section, text them this or send it to them via messenger pigeon or whatever you may find and they will be happy and they will love you even more. Moving into today's thingamajig, this is even old news. El Salvador is up to like 550 Bitcoin at this point. And the market is, I don't even want to show the market off top because this is the womp, 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 womp. Even in a little bit of time um, since today, is, the market is going down. Solana has been doing all right. You know, it's, it's up over the 24 hours, but... <laughs> Everything here now and all of this XRP down 30%. All of this is well games. Well games. So when you see this, the market, this is some people taking off their profits and they're going to buy back in when they try to get other people to panic sell. So you're really trying to tank. You see this XRP. They're really putting the pressure on XRP now. Is this a time to buy? You know, that's on you. I'm not your advisor. But the market is not a happy place. So El Salvador pop started off the first country to adopt Bitcoin. In its 12 year history. Well, everybody knows what happened. The World Bank rejected the government request to help it implement it, citing environmental transparency. The World Bank has some nerve about how they feel. Oh, a bit. I feel like I have. Let's go here. So we're going to keep an eye. The government provided a Bitcoin wallet. Will, if the citizens wanted to and downloaded the Shivo, Shivo? which would be preloaded with $30 in a digital currency for users who are registered with a Salvadorian national ID number. So we're going to keep a close eye on how that goes. Game theory, I think other countries will be jumping in soon. Majority of Russians say they would rather buy crypto over traditional assets. A lot of talk, but so they did a poll of 500 individuals in Russia. Over 90 percent of the respondents were males in the ages of 25 to 44. So very skewered towards individuals who will be aware of this, but they generalize it. So, you know, little bits like that, you have to read between the lines. Take this for as for what it is, which is very skewered information. So the sentiment is greatly skewered towards this. Yeah, yeah, greatly skewered towards the positive. Most of the respondents believe crypto grow is, is, you know, so out of the people in, in you would imagine who have exposure to cryptocurrencies in Russia. Majority of them said they would rather buy the cryptocurrency than traditional assets like currency and gold. So quickly at the end of it you would expect the the problem there though of course is that 
Russia has a law called the On Digital Finance Assets that they cannot use their coins to pay for goods and services. Majority believe they need regulations to make it safer. Some say they no regulations. You know, I, I think a mixture of both. You gotta can't overregulate, but you have to have some regulations in life. That's just how the world works. Bitcoin has significant upward potential as digital gold. Bill Miller, remember, brought a bunch of shares of Grayscale, his fund, the Miller Opportunity Trust, bought 1.5 million shares of the Grayscale uh, G, GBTC not, uh, last month or a couple, a couple months back. And so he's just saying, look, to defend it, now we know what Bitcoin is. Why? <clears throat> Why might someone want to own some? The short answer is that there is no other asset that combines Bitcoin's liquidity with its upside potential. And that is no lie. The fact that you can go and sell your Bitcoin right now, nothing is stopping it. You can put an order in for market value and it will go through immediately. Even as it drops now. Okay, it's going back up a little bit. But even as it was dropping, you could still sell your Bitcoin right now and you would be fine so that's liquidity now the prices are swinging and as it gets as it matures over time that will become specifically with like bitcoin ethereum they're gonna get to places and just have you know a, a, a appreciation but it won't be such the drastic swings it had earlier in this in this cycle but we'll see this was a crazy article by the numbers. How much micro strategy would have lost if it had invested in gold instead of Bitcoin? So a little over a year ago, that's when Michael Saylor and micro strategy started to add Bitcoin to the treasury of his company, software company, their company. And let's see how they did. If they had bought gold versus Bitcoin from last year, they've been down 80 percent. 21% in the last month. If they had bought and they're up on their Bitcoin, 376%. So almost four times. They'd have been down four fifths of their money if they had bought gold instead of Bitcoin. I hope Palantir know what they're doing. And. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't. I mean, I'm sorry, but they, you know, macro strategy didn't. They created macro strategy and the, uh, a holding company that they started to purchase Bitcoin itself and put on their treasury and they're up almost 400 percent. So. Yeah. Oh, that's the return. OK, OK. So the return on, on gold is just. Negative. Um, Negative six percent on a year or for the month, for twelve. Okay, but so they're just the fact that they're up by four times versus if they bought gold is what they're saying. Okay, all right, makes sense. So just yeah, it, it would have been flat with gold, safe and relatively flat, but really and and because of that, there's there talks about that their stock. Uh, it's a correlation between. Their stock, MSRT, let's go over here and see if it's traded. It's not traded here, but we can search. I don't know. No. I'm just saying my thing's backwards. Isn't that it? Hold on. Am I tripping? MSRT. Okay. Yeah, sorry to you. That's what I thought, but yeah. Huh. Do they not have... Hang on, let me try typing it in via its... Okay. Oh, TR, I'm tripping. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Let me back. Ad blocker. Yeah, I'm using an ad blocker, man. Let me go back. Get off my back, son. Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm supposed to just give you my ads, my time for free? Maybe. And maybe not. Depends. The information you're giving me. I know. We're greedy. 
human beings. We want the information for free, and they put a lot of work into it. But then I might have to end up signing up for them because I actually seem to like that site. Well, anyway, into it is just they made a lot more money, and now El Salvador has moved into the the companies, Bitcoin treasuries with companies and countries. I don't see what, what was it Bolivia we saw. No, 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 no. It was somewhere Bulgaria. Bulgaria had a couple hundred thousand Bitcoin on its treasury. And I don't see that on this list. So we got to double check, see if that information was real or not the other day. But MicroStrategy made out like bandits, but buying Bitcoin over gold. So, you know, if you want to make sure your money's safe, you may go down some years and up. Say, so, you know, it's all right. Investors are placing big bets on a growing space economy, but can they reach orbit? Space is space is hot. Yeah, I guess as an ironic statement, talking about Elon, Bezos, and Branson, and what their Mr. Musk, Bezos, Jeff, and Richard, how they where they're trying to go. But a lot of it is also the money being put into companies that are putting a lot of satellites into space over the past decade investors pump 200 billion into 1500 space companies around the world according to an analysis done by space capital a space investment firm investments in startup space companies reached 7.6 billion last year 16 percent increase from 2019 Level of investments consistent with the six year trend beginning in 2015 of unpre unprecedented level of venture capital driven investment flowing into the space industry. And a lot of it, I would say, has to be with the work done by SpaceX showing that reusable rockets is a thing which is going to cut down a lot on just thinking reusability is going to cut down on the overall cost of going to orbit. And once there, once we find that as they say in video games, that killer app of something that we can only do in space super well that's going to change how everybody needs things, that would then push everyone to say, all right, we really need to work together to make sure that we can continue to do where it is. Some companies are looking at building factories in orbit and, and the microgravity, you know, not necessarily zero gravity, it's microgravity in our orbit. They're able to do different manufacturing techniques. So, like I said, once that killer app hits, though, it's over. It's talked about some of the problems with it. It can be volatile. Virgin Galactic stock can be fairly volatile. Astra had an accident last week, and their prices have taken a hit. So, And, and the market, uh, ARC invests the, I would say, research research organization ran by Kathy Woods that invest, invest it's an investment investment firm investment firm with a really good research department so this is an investment firm the they have a ETF for space the arc X which looks to in companies that have work that's done down here on earth that's going to take place in orbit or influence would take place in orbit and as well as you know companies that directly um, are associated with space. So something to think about, you know, I think it's going to be when you're thinking on a long time span, if you're able to buy assets such as equity stocks and pass them on to individuals or even in your in the next 20 to 30 years and your later age, a lot of this stuff is is, you know, at the very beginning stages, it's like back in the 1930s and, you know, TWA, I don't even know what airplanes were around back then, I'm just joking. But, you know, back before airlines, when they were, you know, now you get it, pennies on a dollar. You look at it in terms of um, the amount of money put in versus return on investment, it may be, and here's a bad pun, astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, because I know I'm speeding the day and just like because well, I'll show you in a second. You live longer if you're rich at this age. 
what is the answer? If you're mid forties, if you have more to buy every by fifty fifty thousand in in savings in like in retirement, um, you know, in assets, and every fifty thousand above. So a recent study from Northwestern University, Big Ten, found that with every fifty thousand accumulated by middle age, the individual risk of death drops, and that. This ability to earn money isn't related to early childhood experiences, genetics, or hereditary characteristics. So the great equalizer. (laughs) They say money can't buy happiness. The great equalizer beyond anything and everything is accumulating a certain amount of capital by your mid-40s and continuing that on is going to be predictive of can be predictive of death, even with twins in here. Uh, the Midlife United States Project, long-term data collection, study aging in America, established in 1989, data collected, spurts from 1995 on, algamated up to 2018, analyzed, study included 5,400 participants of that sample, mostly were white. In 18, 1989, they still was like, oh, and only 500 classified as non-white. While the studies focus mostly on siblings, both diazygotic and monozygotic uh, fraternal and identical twins, there were some other notable features of the participants, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, the research didn't have an answer. White twins seem to be more educated. So twins were more educated than individuals. However, regardless of their upbringing, a twin or sibling with more money tended to live longer than a sibling who did not have as much. Specifically, the sibling that acquired 139000 more than the other up their chances of outliving the other uh, twin. Crazy. They said even if a rich family doesn't necessarily lead to longer life, if the children end up having massive wealth disparities. Hmm. Two people born same DNA, same genetic predisposition, same upbringing, but one twin lives simply longer than the other simply because they're wealthier. Now, what is it? Are you paying for a healthier lifestyle? You getting massages, exercising, able to take a yoga class, learn yoga, able to exercise, got time to exercise, have better food, greater medical care, going to your medical appointments, having access, living in a house without asbestos poisoning, working at a job in a non-polluted environment, you know, not having a long commute. What are these factors that contribute to it? Probably all. Probably all. Um, I already used the term up there already, so I want to use it twice. But an aggregate of all of those together. So they said, what do the experts recommend? Get more money? <laughs> no, they won't be honest with you. I will. So that's what we're going to do. Go get more money. I'm not even going to. They tell me, about, make, try to address income inequality in America. Some people are in, unable to work and, and need to be, you know, have to, there has to be a safety net to take care of these individuals. Then there's some people who don't want to work for whatever reason, you know, you have to have, I tell people like, is, is a fantasy world to think that everyone's going to have in terms of everyone is, if, if everyone just had the equal amount, we'll all be happy. You know, they try this communism, the socialism, the, I, and my, you know, our friends argue with me, but socialism, I say, look, the best system is use the bits and pieces of all of it. But to think you're going to go purely in any one direction, they've tried that in places or, or mainly those routes. Show me one that hasn't failed. You know, but you have to have hybrid systems. We have a hybrid system here in America. Uh, uh, Medicare, Medicaid is socialist. Um <laughs> You can even consider like the bailouts of the the financial institutions, the retirement accounts. This is all socialist constructs. Could be a silly <laughs> at the end of the day. You know, so it's it's about what makes sense and doing the things that instead of being caught in a oh, I'm identified in this path is what makes sense. And be a little bit fluid, be like water. Bruce Lee told everybody my best. Be like water. You know. You can you can you can be soft and gentle and be like just waves on the beach that's fun to frolic in, or you can be the crashing tide that changes the, the, the structure of continents. Be like water. And, and, and 
you'll probably end up being happier as well. And, and drink a lot of water. That helps. I know people in my life laugh at me like, you saying that? Ha, ha, ha. But jiu-jitsu did teach me that. Ooh, ETH is burning. Look how much ETH is burning. And, and the price is just kind of says, hey, because the price of ETH is going down. So you can't look at the dollar amount. But we're almost up to a quarter of a million ETH Ethereum has been burned. Ever since they've implemented the EIP 1559. Now, you know, jump to, we'll go to this the marketplace. Ah, hey, y'all. It's, it's, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad. Well, what do we have? Well, in about 22 minutes, we have, um, I'm scrolling to it here. We have Shiba Inu Avatar NFT is about to drop with a 16,000 followers in his Twitter and a Discord with a bunch of people as well. So it is going to happen soon. Trying to get one of these or two of these. Point one Ethereum to mint at. Let's see if any are already on. Um, oh, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. I saw it there. But I don't know if that was it or not, the real one. Okay, the floor price is still pretty low. Let me see if you can buy now. Oh, man. I don't know if this is the real ones or the fake ones or not. This is how you find out. Click on one. And you go here to about cipher. And see what their website is about. And it looks like theirs. Cipher up here. Cipher X. X, Y, Z. But I still wouldn't even trust that. What you can do is go to their Discord. And from there, go to their official link. And if it's that, then hey, they're already selling on OpenSea for... You can already buy them now on OpenSea for the price that you can mint them for, almost. Price going up a little bit to 1.2, 1.3. But it's all, it's like, it's, it's, it's for the, 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 oh, five owners? Oh, that don't look too good. The degenerate gambler. I don't know if this is the official one. That I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like I said, go, I would go to their a link from them officially. These sevens, where there's a big problem yesterday in terms of how the contract was exploited, I talked about that a little bit, but they have one ETH now. The floor is that one ETH. What do you mean by the floor? Well, the floor is when you go to buy now, what is the bottom price you're going to buy this for? And see it already gone up to 115. So if you even buy this one here, you're already going to make point one ETH, which is 400 bucks. Just by purchase now, depending on gas prices and all that, but buying that, moving there, boom. And you see these prices going up. People like the seven. I mean, look, it's a sweet design. I ain't, I ain't gonna knock it. I think it's sweet too. I think it's sweet too. So I'm not gonna sit and ramble. You, I'm excited because I'm about to try to go in here and I'm gonna try to get one of these uh, Shiba Inus first. And if not. Then I guess I may see if I'll come over here and be able to buy one cipher because they're also building like video games. I spelled that all wrong. They building they are building video games with these characters. So the plan is that you get this card with your character on it. Then 
in that game, you can either import that character into the game or, you know, of course, you can always sell it at some point. But if you keep it, they'll give they'll have another drop of a NFT that you'll automatically get free because you have the card already, you know, one of them already. So it's a lot of things around this NFT market that makes people a lot of money. Let's be real with it. But I'm not going to belabor the point. I love you. You love yourself. God loves us. And that's all that matters.